Uh, my name is Troy, and it's Vidston, and the H is silent. It's a Norwegian name. Uh, my wife and I, Julie, uh, bought uh, unit number 65. So that was a brand new unit. And uh, well, I guess it's one of the, the later uh, units in phase one. Yep, uh, uh, I think uh, 65, the way that the construction flow went is that that was a little more towards the north end of the property, if I recall. Yes, yes. All right, fantastic. And um, before, yeah, so we're so we're, uh, so we're uh, uh, currently full timers. We've been, we've had RVs for many many years. Uh, we have a home that we just recently sold in the Phoenix area. So now we're one hundred percent full time RVers. Uh, I'm going to retire uh, in less than two years. Uh, so that'll put us in really full-time RVing, but uh, we just wanted to get a home base after we sold our home. We knew that that's what we were going to do. Uh, we actually came out to Havasu. We've been coming out to Havasu for many, many years on the lake, but we really didn't spend a lot of time in town in Lake Havasu experiencing uh, restaurants, businesses, so on. We would just come for the weekend do some boating and then leave, go back to the Phoenix area, back home again. So uh, my wife and I uh, brought our RV out and rented a spot in town at a nice RV uh, resort. And that's where we really kind of got a feel for Havasu and liked it. Uh, we drove by uh, uh, Riverbound a few times. This place kind of out in the, on the outskirts of town. And we said, we need to go in and check that place out. So we did, and it's been, and here we are <laughs> having a Zoom meeting, uh, talking about it, but it's been a fantastic experience uh, so far. And we're glad that we, we made the move to Riverbound for sure. So uh, you found Riverbound on the map just simply by passing by it. Uh on highway 95 is, is what it sounds like, or did pretty you? Pretty much, pretty much. And and talking with other friends and business associates and whatever, but, but it's simple, just as simple as driving by, you know, it's, it's not hard to see from the road and, and uh, just kind of started from there, Ryan. Oh, uh, that's great. So um, selling your home, kind of downsizing, this is um, I guess in a way kind of worked out to be, a, a home a new home for you in in that regard um, it, is. it is and it was it is actually very similar to the home that we just sold uh the home that we had before was about 800 square foot uh stick built home and a very big garage and it's uh very close to roosevelt lake which is one of the largest lakes in arizona so it wasn't all that different you know than what we than what we came from. Okay, so it um, you you had an appetite for it. You found something in the Havasu area, and it it worked out nicely for you, is what it sounds like. So that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, my wife and I, Julie, we love the Havasu area. Uh, all the people there. Uh, it's been a great experience so far, and look look looking forward to spending even more time there. Of course, I've got to finish up some work yet and get retired before we can really be a hundred percent. But I think we're planning on spending probably 50, 60% of our time there at Riverbound till I get, get done working. That's great. And uh, you said that you're just a, a few short years away from enjoying your golden years in your retirement. So yep, lesson two. Congratulations two. to you for that. You're coming, coming down the home stretch. Yes, absolutely. Um, would you mind uh, Troy uh, sharing with the audience what your buying process was like at Riverbound. Um, I, I would imagine that you worked with an agent or two that, you know, may have, you know, originally given you a tour of the facility or when you just came off of the highway, did you just go in the park and kind of drive around to get a flavor for it? Kind of walk us through that, you know, that start to finish when you made up your mind that you wanted to, you know, entertain the idea of buying a place at Riverbound you know, what, what, what did that look like, you know, for maybe somebody that is thinking about going in there and checking it out, but just hasn't 
you know, done it yet. Can you kind of shine some light and give some context yeah, to that? Absolutely. It was, uh, it was very simple for me. And it's as simple as getting in your car and driving out to Riverbound and checking it out. And that's what my wife and I did. Uh, and actually got up, went into the office, uh, looked around, talked to some folks in there. I think it was Tiffany. And uh, she said that uh, she gave us the, the uh, I forget if it was the gate code or she just got in her car and drove us around. But anyway, kind of briefly looked around inside and the unit number one at that time was for sale. So I talked to that gentleman that was uh, selling it. He was out of town and actually, I think it was Joe in 95 or six actually showed me unit number one, showed me inside. And that's uh, unit number one is on a lot of your brochures and displays and, and all that kind of stuff. So that was our first uh, viewing of Riverbound was unit number one. And then we just kind of went from there. Uh, we got a hold of Scott. Scott Hall was our sales guy and walked us through all the steps, which he did a great job. Uh, it was very easy. Uh, we thought it was going to be too much for us to handle financially, but uh, talking with you guys and we just, were, were, we were able to make the deal work, you know, and we sure appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, it was, it's been great so far. But uh, it sounds like you were uh, able to take advantage of the in-house financing terms that we offer, uh, which we feel are are fairly competitive uh, and fair. Yes. And um, I think that there's uh, some people out there that may not be aware that we do offer in-house financing to really simplify the process. You know, our main thing is to build out this community um, in a first class fashion. And I think the product, uh, the Riverbound product, the building and the community, the people, the buying process, you know, all of that comes together and really translates into a, a, a net positive result. So, um, no, that, that's awesome. I mean, you, you just driving down the highway, you see it, you pull over, you check out, you go into the store, you, uh, you know, you, you get some information and then before you know it, Within uh, how long did it take you uh, from signing on the dotted line to actually, you know, moving your things into the building? Was was the building a pre-construction or was it turnkey and was it already built and ready? To it move? was a pre-construction. It had the mini split in it. The floors were not done. OK. And there was a couple of 50 amp outlets that were not done, but that was done relatively quickly. Uh, we also had some cabinetry as a part of the deal and that was done. Uh, fairly quickly. So it didn't take very long at all. I'm going to say less than 30 days, something like that. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's great. I mean, typically it takes about a week for the paperwork to process. And then depending on, uh, you know, what kind of add-ons or what kind of improvements are part of the deal. Uh, it sounds like our project manager between our team on site and the sales team, I think, uh, you know, both were able to get you, uh, you know, your, your building in a, in a reasonable amount of time, you know, no, no, no silly games, none, of, none of that kind of. Yeah, it was uh, yeah, no complaints, no complaints. Everything went along, uh, uh, as promised. So there was no disappointments there, and uh, I mean, the staff has been great to work with. All the folks up in the front office have been have been really good. Uh, I've actually uh, went up and bought some propane, so that was another convenience of all those things that you have up front you buy fuel and propane and so on. So that's super convenient. Yep. Um, kind of a, a one-stop shop, if you will. Sure. Yep. Yep. So yep. The, the cabinets were um, in, included in your original sale. Have you had an opportunity to spend any time on any further improvements such as a mezzanine or anything like that on the inside or the yeah no we've uh my wife and i spent uh maybe 20 days there so far okay and we're just we've got all our stuff there we've got a, a pretty big pontoon boat tritune pontoon boat and we've got our fifth wheel there uh so just kind of getting moved in was a big deal for us moving out of the out of our house and downsizing and 
and so on. So we're finally in there and kind of have everything organized and so on. So we're just looking for ideas uh, that maybe different residents have done there at Riverbound, uh, whether it's sliding glass doors or an extra door on the side or a mezzanine. People have done some super cool things there. It's just a matter of how much you want to how much you want to do and how much how many cubic dollars you have to throw at it to do whatever it is, you know? So tons of great ideas out there that we're looking forward to doing. Uh, that's great. I, um, I think the coolest thing is that you get your, your, you know, you get your keys to the building and it's essentially a blank canvas, right, Troy? Right. So absolutely. And walk in there and, you know, um, let your imagination just take off. Um, and, you know, we try our best to put you in touch with our, with our contractors to kind of help, you know, bring that vision to life. And uh, obviously you're more than welcome to do all the improvements yourself. But uh, that's one thing that we are, um, you know, highly complimented on is, you know, the ability to go in there and, um, you know, just kind of make it your either primary or your second home away from home. So um, it, it sounds like you're, uh, you're, you're just scraping the surface on what you want to do with yours. That's a great way to say it, just scraping the surface. Look, so look forward to spending way more time there and making some improvements and just enjoying it out there. Uh, how have your neighbors been? Have you had a chance to uh, meet? And neighbors Omar? Neighbors are great. Neighbors are great. Met some folks across. Uh, every every person that we've talked to, and we haven't talked to, to everybody yet, but they've been great. Uh, offer information on what they've done, what they're doing, uh, different side-by-side -side rides that are going on or Jeep rides that are going on. And so everybody's cool. willing to invite you over for a happy hour and visit some more and stuff. So it's been great. It's been great that way. So the, the, the lifestyle, I mean, the, the short amount of time that you've spent there, but you can see the value in, in the lifestyle and the neighbors and the community. So um, yeah, that that's definitely worth its weight in gold for sure. In my opinion. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Ryan. Um, what about in the amenities uh, swimming pool or driving range or anything like that, that you've uh, had a chance to utilize or might be able to comment on for the audience? I uh, have not. We've wanted to get into the swimming pool, but it's been it's been cool. Yeah. Uh, the jacuzzi has been has been good. We have not gotten into the jacuzzi. We have used the showers and the bathrooms. Uh, those are clean, uh, very user friendly. Uh, but we look forward to spending more time in the pool and the jacuzzi. Just just have not as of yet. But we've been into there and looked around. We've been down to the uh, uh, the the kids play area and uh not the not the not the tennis court but it's uh what's the other one uh the pickleball court pickleball yeah the pickleball so we look forward to getting down into there and doing learning some of that oh uh, that's like uh, be a lot of fun yeah that's that's great and uh you're a soon to be retired uh firefighter or fire chief yes yep yeah just a firefighter yep firefighter okay well thank you for your service um yep, got it uh, I would imagine uh, somebody like yourself, you've uh, you've got quite the white glove. So when you're taking a look around, um, you know you you've got the 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 higher end of the stink test that needs to be passed. I I would imagine. So sure, sure. Um, no, that's that's great. Um, as far as the staff and the hospitality, can you share with the audience um, how you would rate them? Um, I mean obviously we try our best to be accommodating and be there for you as much as possible. But if you could, you know, if, if you've got constructive criticism or, you know, indifferent things to say, we'd just like to know how you honestly feel about the staff, because that is a very important piece of our operation. Yeah. Staff, uh, Tiffany, uh, I know is your main, your main person there in the front office and she does a fantastic job. So I would highly recommend on keeping her around <laughs> if possible. Uh, there's some other folks that are in there too, but not not as as uh, uh, to the point as Tiffany. So she does a great job. Uh, even some of the some of the residents that either donate some of their time or work there on a part time basis have been great. Good. Uh, there, so so they've been good. Uh, Scott's Scott's been good. Scott's been good. It'd be kind of nice to hear a little bit more from him. You know. Uh, after the after the deal is done or whatever, just to kind of chat and 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 so on. But but overall, everything's been great. Uh, office staff's been a ten. 
uh, Scott's been Scott's been great. And all the time that I've I've talked with you or AJ, uh, AJ has been fantastic. And uh, all the transactions that we've done recently with you guys have been no no complaints. It's been great. Fantastic. Well, uh, appreciate the kind words, and yeah. uh, we we really do uh, try our best because we know how important you know people are to a successful business. So, and yeah. that obviously there's always room for improvement. So, um, fantastic. I guess if somebody is watching this uh, testimonial, and again, you're in Unit 65. You bought, uh, I guess, within the last six months, something like that, Troy. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, let's just pretend for a second and say that, you know, somebody's watching this and they're on the fence about buying a unit at Riverbound or they've been contemplating it for some time, you know, whatever might be holding them up. Is there any piece of advice or any comment that you might want to give them in terms of getting them off the fence and getting them to pull the trigger? Is there anything in particular that you would say to kind of help push them over the edge to say, you know, here's a here's a quick little tidbit as to why you should seriously consider selling your home and simplifying your lifestyle and maybe buying a unit at Riverbound. Yeah, yeah, uh, Ryan. The the answer is simple, and that is get in your car and drive out to Riverbound, and you'll see uh, firsthand how how great it is, and all the amenities, and the size of uh, the units, and the space around the units. You know, until you can really uh, look at it, touch it, feel it, smell it, uh, that's that's a selling point. You know what I mean? You don't need to have some high pressure salesperson talk you into anything which there wasn't, uh, but just going out there and looking around, man, it just it sells itself. You don't need any salespeople. That Riverbound just sells itself. If that's if that's what you want, if that's the lifestyle you're kind of looking for, you know. That's what that's what it did it for me, you know, just getting out there and looking at it and stuff like it was it was great. Like giving, we're in it, giving it a chance and getting your boots on ground to really understand the concept and, you know, how different it is and the value that it could bring to your decision. Mm -hmm. And we looked around. We did a lot of looking around in Lake Havasu and there's a lot of great places in in Lake Havasu in, in town. And uh, we just decided that we want to go with Riverbound. And, any, uh, is there any specific reason? I mean, that's a that's really a, a good point because I I don't think that you're alone. Uh, you know, when it comes to making a decision, you're going to look at more than one place, right? So, um, it sounds like you looked at maybe a, a couple, two or three different uh, locations in Havasu. This being on the outskirts, um, maybe that influenced you. Is there anything in particular that really stood out at Riverbound? Um, that just made it kind of a no-brainer for you compared to other RV parks that you were considering in Lake Havasu? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's there again, it's all depending on what what you're looking for and your budget, of course. Uh, and Riverbound uh, was in our budget and the space that we needed. There's a lot of other places and it's just the space wasn't there uh restrictions not that they're bad they're all there it's all good riverbound has restrictions and that's all good uh so it just worked for us uh and being out of town i think that being out of town might prohibit people but from riverbound till i open the door at at walmart is about eight minutes and when i sold my home uh it uh where we're at in, in by Roosevelt Lake, it was uh, it was like twenty five minutes to Walmart, right? So it's not it's not that far, it's not that far. I know it is a little bit out of town, but it's it's very close, and it's obviously very close to the airport. And of course, Walmart's the first one, so that wasn't that wasn't an issue for us being just kind of on the outskirts of town. Yeah, uh, we kind of like that. It's quiet. Uh, there's no traffic in and out. There's you know, no riffraff per se. It's, it's a gated community, so we like that. Not going to have people coming in and out. So that yeah, was just a win-win for us. Fantastic, um, Troy. Thank you so much for taking the time to uh, share 
firsthand as an owner at unit number 65 at Riverbound. Thank you for sharing um, you know, your thoughts with everybody, with our audience. And I would just ask you one last question. Is there uh, anything that we can improve on? Uh, any comments or any suggestions? Uh, anything that you might want to throw at us as a tenant uh, that we could improve on and uh, help enhance you know, what sounds like and appears to be a, a pretty good experience for you so far? Yeah, well, uh, if you could finish off all the rest of the amenities, like the restaurant, it's my understanding, and a gym and all those, all those things, so the sooner the better, the sooner we can start enjoying those. I know it takes time and, and the construction process and so on, but I look forward to uh, seeing Riverbound completed and all the all the great folks that are going to be living there with all their toys and whatnot and just to see that so i look forward to the future at riverbound that's great well we will uh, try our best to keep you updated and keep you abreast of our progress with our phase two amenities it is in progress and it's in the works and we are doing everything that we can uh, to push forward and bring that to life and fulfill our promise to all of our community tenants. Super awesome. I look forward to meeting you in person. All right. Likewise, Troy. Um, thank you again for your time. And we're absolutely delighted to have you and yours at Riverbound. And we look forward to seeing you there soon.